Hey there, everybody, how's it going? I'm back. Okay, back to my swordfish. You seen the LEDs? That was done a couple of nights ago. Now, I added a pitot tube, uh, so an airspeed sensor. Never put one on one of my planes before. It's my first one. The installation was really simple. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Yeah, that works. Pretty cool thing. Super easy install. So let me open this up. All right. Let's have a look. Just put this like this. Can I see this thing? Is that in focus? That should be in focus, guys. Okay, so what I did, uh, it's pretty hard. Okay, so the sensor is in the front here. So all I did is I drilled a hole. It's a little bit tight fit, so it just slides in. Right now, it's not glued in. It's just placed in. It's a tight fit, but it's placed in there. Uh, I want to do some test lights with it first to make sure it actually works properly. And then I'll put a dab of goop on it just to hold it in place. Um, it came with these two hoses here. Uh, that was pretty easy. Just plug it in. Um, they were a lot longer. They came up to about here, so I just cut them. So I don't know if that's going to affect my speed or what it's going to do, but um, we will see. I'll test fly that uh, probably on Monday. I'll see how it goes. I might fly it Monday. Right now, it's just pouring rain outside, so that's not going to happen. And that's it. And the wires, they feed along on the inside there, go right into the flight controller, and it's super easy install. Uh, you just plug it into the side of the flight control. I'm using the Speedy, v, Speedy B F405 wing. It just plugs right into the side. There's a port for it for the digital sensor. This is the Matek. And you plug it in. You just go in, uh, enable air, enable and configuration the uh, airspeed sensor. And then uh, just go onto your on screen display and um, put it onto your, um, onto your grid. That's it. Simple as that. And it'll measure airspeed. Um, coming from that sensor and also I left the uh, what's called the satellite airspeed also uh, activated so I'm gonna put both of them up and compare how they are and uh, pretty soon I'll post some flight footage coming from this thing and I'll show you guys the on-screen display what it shows for the different uh, speed settings and see how accurate it is so I'm looking forward to using it. I've never had one before and I figured you know what they're inexpensive they came down in price and then uh, I just purchased one. The only thing you have to watch out when you install this thing. Let me see if I can see it. You'll see, whoops, sorry about that. See there's little holes in these things? You have to make sure that's coming out. That's protruding outside that's in the airflow. So the pressure goes in here and this reads the dynamic pressure and this reads the static pressure. So those have to be uh, uh, in the airflow. <clears throat> you also, when you install one of these sensors, because uh, this is a twin engine plane, uh, you want to put it somewhere where it's not in the flow of the air coming from the propellers so it's my I put it on the nose you can actually put it like on the wing there or something but you can't put it anywhere in this area here because it's gonna have airflow from the props uh, and you don't want to put it in the tail section either because it's gonna be in the airflow so you can go either a wingtip or on the nose of the plane and uh, I decided I went for the nose and that's why I haven't glued it in. I might not even glue it in because yesterday I do an impact on the ground or something this thing will just push in Whereas if I glue it in, I could snap the sensor right off. So uh, I might just leave it not glued in, just so it's, it's free. we'll see. We'll see how the flight tests go. And that's it, guys. So uh, stay tuned for, um, for some flying, and uh, that's coming up in a couple of days. And I'll post the video, and I'll show you the on-screen footage. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.